So yeah, we made it through the first half hour of our discussion and we have questions from our, our Zoom chat to take. So the first question I was asked is how do you manage to stay up to date with reading publications? Now for me, now that we have time, I thought I would have time to read, but I still struggle. So I will ask, <laughs> um, Ellen, how do you start, how do you manage to stay up to date with relations? Do you have more time now, less time? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm up to date, <laughs> but oh, I, I don't have really have a systematic way, like a, a schedule for reading. So I think I, it's more like I read them when I need to write. And then when I read another paper, it makes me read another paper or when I hear about a paper from other colleagues, but I, I don't have a systematic, uh, yeah, it's just whatever uh, I'm curious about at the moment, or unless if I'm starting a new project, then I just read everything about the topic or the new area of study, but I don't do a weekly reading. And uh, the reading groups, we do reading groups at work. Um, for example, a volcanology reading group where someone presents a paper and we discuss it. So that's a good way, I think, to uh, keep up to date with new papers. Okay, um, Julia, you, you've often highlighted that, that research is one is your main thing. So, do you have how do you manage to stay up to date with it? Uh, I actually try to read quite a lot, um, so that. So I, often I scroll through, uh, like I, on Google uh, Scholar, I have these uh, uh, alerts when uh, papers are close to my subject. There used to be this uh, very good uh, volcano digest that doesn't exist anymore, but that was also a way I was trying to, uh, to regularly, perhaps once a week or once every other week, to check what, was, uh, what has been out recently on my field. And I also, read a lot um, when I write papers and when I write grant proposals and also when I use, and I've, I've been doing that a lot over the past uh, four years, um, writing uh, proposals for uh, positions. And in this case also, I was reading a lot of paper to, to keep on top of the, um, what's new in the field, basically. Um, so I don't, I can't say that I have a very systematic way of doing it, but I'm trying to, yeah, I'm really trying to, to, to scroll through the internet to make sure that I know uh, what's new in the field. And also some of the work I've been doing is related to uh, using published data. So that means I've been also uh, extracting data from publications and that meant that I had to go through some fairly deep uh, literature search to find some uh, new but also fairly old paper and extract uh, data I was interested in. Okay, uh, um, Mariana? Yes, well, I think as Ellen, I am not a detective, but um, I, I use ResearchGate and I follow a lot of people uh, with the projects of my interest. So, uh, that is for me a way to be like in in the mood. I mean, I, I am looking the new the new publication, the new papers, and if I need to to write something or to start with a, a new paper, I go deeply in some of them. No, and depends on the area and you know, the the main the topic of, of the of the paper. But I think a research gate is a really good tool. And another way uh, before <laughs> pandemic was uh, with the weekly seminars with my team work, um, just to discuss some kind of topic, uh, just to I mean to to be involved in in the research of every everyone. So many times we um, we start to discuss some paper and we will read in that way. But uh, um, returning to research gate, I. I read the abstracts mainly, and then if I need it, I, I go deeply. And with the students, because I, I have a student, uh, we have students um, like a kind of evaluation also, the, research, the researchers here in Mexico. So I have like this um, uh, virtual folders with the, like the main reference in my topics. And I, I, if, I, if I found another that, uh, 
may uh, involve the students with the new concepts or new um, of the main concepts in the area, well, I put it in that folder, and that's the way that I am like building this uh, this uh, main reference in my in my in my in my topic research. That's all. Okay, James, do you have a particular format so that you interact with students so much, or? Um, I mean, I'm definitely not on top of my reading. I think my my folder of PDFs to read is probably pushing a hundred by now. Um, so I guess po apologies to Ellen because she's probably got a couple papers in that folder that I need to read of hers. Um, but I find um, I do most of my reading when I'm writing, so be that research proposals or research papers. But I guess I'm also lucky. I'm I supervise. Um, I guess like 10 students or something. Um, and I find that they are actually really useful um, for keeping me up to date with literature as well. So if they read something new or exciting or interesting, they generally tell me about it. And I find that really useful. So if you're listening, thank you. Um, and there's also, I don't know if people are aware of this, there's a tool called Connected Papers um, that is also quite useful to stay up to date with research. Um, it's I'll, I'll chuck the link in the chat rather than explain it so people can can explore that if they have a bit of time. But yeah, that's about it. 